This year is the GoCube. It is the latest innovation in making something ordinary extraordinary. Now, this here is a smart cube. Essentially what it is, it, it kind of links up with your mobile phone and gives you a live feedback in terms of how you can go ahead and operate with this. Now, based on what I've seen, it's got a lot of lights, it's got a lot of gizmos, and then there's an app that goes ahead and supports with it, making the old fashioned Rubik's Cube into a lot more fun. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what's on the inside. All right, so the box itself is kind of nice. It's literally a shape of a square. <laughs> uh, and as you kind of like rotate it about, you do see that there's a lot of different things that you can see. Now let's go ahead and open it up. Ah, haha, -ha. check this out. Something. Aha! Whew. Took some finesse. So it's actually a very nice looking stand. I mean, you can definitely present this. Ooh! So let's change it up a little bit. Huh. Um, so far I can tell you that it does take a lot of fingerprints. I'm like, I'm just simply pressing here and you can actually see that it's getting dirty and dirtier by the second which isn't a very promising thing. I like the design structure of it. I like how it's not, doesn't have any sharp edges on it. You can go ahead and like rotate it about very, very quickly. Uh, so that's kind of neat. Um, it does have like a, like a clear benzel going around it. So as you kind of rotate it, you'll see that it kind of functions pretty unique. Um, definitely a very interesting design style. So we'll go ahead and put that down for right now. And let's go ahead and take a look at the contents one more time. Now, this is open up here, okay? Uh, and it says goodies inside. Um, so, <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, so we have ourselves a, looks like a stand for our cube. So this will go ahead and place it in just like this. See? And then uh, this here is a, the uh, charging cable. Let's go ahead and push it in just like that. And there you have it, it's charging. And you have yourselves a nice looking display case. So you can go ahead and place that about, that's kind of neat. Uh, and then lastly, you get yourself a cool looking velvety pouch. So you can go ahead and take it out and you actually even have the Go Cube. Looks like almost like embroidered or embedded into there. So that's kind of neat. So over here we have ourselves our quick start guide. Uh, there we are. Uh, so you just go ahead and you get the Go Cube, you get the stand, you get the charger. What you need is a device. Obviously, you'll be using it like an iPad, a USB internet, and then you just charge it and download the app and you're ready to play. So pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and download that app next and give it a test run. Okay, so we're currently trying to connect. Ah, we found it. So from there, we can go ahead and sign up via Facebook or create a username. So let's connect on Facebook here. Uh, and then we'll hit sign in and we should be good to go to try this out. So we'll hit sync display. Oh, cool. <laughs> that is so wicked. It's got like a gyroscope in there and you can see that it's actually linking it quite well. So even if I, <laughs> even if I rotate it, watch this. That is cool. I mean, like literally it is following it to the T. If I spin it, stop it. I mean, that is pretty neat. So you can tell, tell that it does have a sensor in there. I really like that a lot. So it is synced. So nice to meet you. What cuber level are you? I'm just getting started. So it says Start Academy. What's the color of the face directly opposite to yellow? White. So yellow is to white. Okay. Next are edge pieces. Edge pieces always lie in the center piece and only have two colors. Okay. So this case is white and red. How many edge pieces does your cube have? 10, 12. All right, we're making progress. Which edge piece goes in the highlighted spot? Two, four, six, eight. Okay, I completely ruined my Rubik's cube. So we kind of worked our way through Start Academy. Uh, Start Academy kind of gives you a guide in terms of how to go ahead and learn the different algorithms and stuff of that nature, which is quite nice. Uh, obviously, 
I didn't really get that far. But the more you do it, the more steps you learn. It kind of teaches you the different hand motions. So there's one that you go and rotate like this, flip it back, flip it that way, and you use your left hand and kind of spin it that direction. So that's kind of cool that I was able to learn that. Now you can learn all the different tricks and then by that way you can go ahead and solve them as well as all the different patterns. Now the app itself is kind of nice. So of course we have the Academy, which we already kind of take a quick look at, but you also have this little trophy on the far left. This trophy on the far left will go ahead and tell you all the top record players. So you see who is playing and how fast they solved it. So you have pro level as well as solo. And then in here you have a challenge. So you have different challenges. So you have scrambling, pro cuber and solo. But this one here is kind of neat because you can go ahead and play it against other people around the world. Now, if you click on the center one here, this is more or less giving your stats as well as your quick timer and a solver. The solver will go ahead and demonstrate to you how to go ahead and rotate it about to go ahead and solve your cube, which we'll try out just in a little bit. And then lastly, you have a game mode allowing you to go ahead and use different keys. So you can use like a piano function, a painted function, Simon Says, Cube Hero, Maze, and Shooter. So kind of gives you a uh, good variations in terms of what you can do and definitely gives a nice replay value. So anyways, let's go back into here and just quickly do a quick solver. Uh, so this will go ahead and tell us how to go ahead and solve our Rubik's Cube. So we're gonna hold it just like this uh, with the white on the top and the green facing us. And just go ahead and follow this. And it should be solved pretty quickly. This says in 20 steps, it should solve it. So that's kind of neat. Oh snap! Literally in a matter of like a minute, I was able to solve this Rubik's Cube. Well, the app was. But it just kind of shows you like, that is crazy technology that literally just shows you the orientation and it knows exactly what you're doing step by step. So that is pretty cool stuff. So let's go back to the main menu. Um, let's try out the game mode. Now the game mode has a few different functionalities. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll click on cube sizer. So this here is like a piano. So we'll keep the, the green uh, towards us and the white on top. And you'll see that it can teach you how to play uh, Little Mary. So it says right. <laughs> That's awesome. So you have different instruments as well. So you have a drum. You have a guitar. You have different songs. Let's just try out this here. So we'll try a um, scrambler beginner so we can find someone in London. So it's searching for a worthy opponent. Oh, Michael. All right, ready, set. All right, nope, nope, there we go. Oh, what the hell is going on? Where's green, 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 green with the white on the top. There we go. Uh, clockwise, forward to the right, uh, upper left, uh, right. Okay, and then left too back back clockwise there you go down right back clockwise down one two back one two oh my god this is getting close this is so much fun i didn't know like it actually shows you how to solve it back one two and down and win ha <laughs> ha so that was actually a lot of fun. So I just faced someone and I actually beat them at a Rubik's Cube. So it's kind of cool. It's actually like a little race, uh, kind of showcasing you how to go ahead and battle about. So that was actually a lot of fun. We actually played someone in London. So you have other places too. So if you go ahead and write, we got Paris, uh, we have Rome and then New York and then Rio. And so that's, that's actually kind of fun. So we're currently searching for another opponent. This one will be in Paris. Uh, maybe a little bit difficult. Logan. All right. We're up to 400 gold coins. All right, ready, set, go. Uh, upper, clockwise, down, clockwise. Nope, that's the wrong way. Right, back, one, two, 
and down one and two snap winner yeah <laughs> ah man that's actually a lot of fun definitely gets your heart pumping as you can see the bottom person like you can see what, how they're solving it too and you can even see how their cubes kind of moving about that is amazingly awesome especially the whole orientation of it i love that all right back to matches so let's try it up a little bit more and We'll go with Super Expert this time and see if we can handle someone in Rio. So find me a match. I'm kind of nervous about this. I don't know how I feel about facing someone at this level. All right, Sarah, let's see what you got. Ready, set, go. Left, clockwise, front, uh, clockwise, right, counterclockwise, up. Oh my God, are you freaking kidding me? I. No! Oh, we lost. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Rio, you, you win. And there you have it. Kind of gives you an idea of what this smart Go Cube or Rubik's Cube is about. I definitely really enjoyed it. I think it's actually pretty cool for what it is. Uh, the only downside I have to say is that it does kind of lose orientation within the app as you're kind of going upon the academy. So you'll like kind of rotate and actually you know what in the app it kind of like changes function. So that might be just a programming error, but I'm sure they'll be kind of work that out as time progresses. Um, other than that, I think it's actually a great quality piece that's made out of a nice material. And in terms of durability, I think it's kind of nice. You know, you do have that nice stretchability. If you kind of like pull on it, you can actually see like the different like cables in there. You can see that they did a great job in terms of it. So they use like, it looks like magnet magnets as well and different stuff of that nature, kind of keeping it together. So yeah, hope that gives you an idea of what the GoCube is about. And if you guys had any questions about it, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.